Welcome to episode seven of The Blake Down. I've got my good friend and roommate, Cody Mizell, with me. Welcome to the show, mate. Jack, always a pleasure. <laughs> Best haircut in USL. <laughs> uh, we're going to be analysing uh, the saves of the week this week, something slightly different. Uh, Cody will obviously give his uh, critique on the goalkeeper, and I'll be able to give an an analysis of the attacking play. So it should be a good one. Dangerously, he's in trouble. Bustamante to the right side, blocked out of harm's way. Allows Restrepo to get back in. Passat is a chance. So it's a good couple actions here from uh, Diego Restrepo. Uh, first, he's coming for a cross, looking like his 20 year old self. Second one makes himself big and gets himself in a good position, and honestly, uh, makes a good save, push over the bar. Yeah, from an attacking perspective, Fresno here. When Bustamante picks up the ball and Restrepo is literally two or three yards in front of him, he makes the great decision to pass it. It gives his team the opportunity in the defence of San Antonio to get back and get into a good position. Um, so Restrepo makes a great decision, it's very forward thinking, it's on his front foot and it's a fantastic play. This one delivered in, dangerously to the pen of the area, oh. great save! So this clip has uh, a couple of good things in it. Uh, first of all, a good decision from, from Crepo to stand his line. And obviously when the header's in six yards out, makes a good decision, good feet, uh, stands strong and makes a strong save to his right, keep his team in the game uh, midway through the first half. Yeah, and Kevin Pollitz takes advantage of losing his man. It's a great set piece, it's a great ball in. Uh, one thing that, that maybe if he had the header again, he might choose to head it back across goal into the corner. You know, it makes it more difficult for the keeper to do that. But again, it's a fantastic effort on goal. Uh, like Cody said, it's great reflexes from Crepo and it's a fantastic play. Took a deflection. Cash air. Cash air from distance. Another big save here from Rawls. Obviously, deflection comes through here and it comes through a bunch of bodies. Rawls doesn't, doesn't know much about it, but he sees his, uh, his body shape move over. So, uh, takes a step to his left, has a go, and makes a good save with two hands. Yeah, and when Kasha picks up the ball at the edge of the box, you know, he, he gets a good step back. It's a good weight on the pass. Uh, he makes the decision to take a touch and wait for the defender. And then, as soon as the defender stops, he shifts the ball to the side. Um, it's a very smart play on the edge of the box to create that yard of space. And it's a fantastic strike, and Rawls does extremely well. Gets away from his defender, now sends it in towards goal, and it's saved, Marcinkowski! Marcinkowski, I think, gets my vote for save of the week this week. Puts uh, himself in a great spot to make the save. Well defended by his defender as well to have his back after a brilliant save. Jacob probably has in his head to head it down. You know, when you head it down, it makes it more difficult for keepers when it's at their feet. And that's exactly what he does there. So, in my opinion, he doesn't do anything wrong. He does the right thing and heads it down. And Marcinkowski is a fantastic save. You know, Reflex is a fantastic on that play. Comes to Walker. Walker will have a go! It's a great save! So another strong save here from uh, Von Williams. Kenny Walker has a great strike, uh, as you can see here from the top of the box. Makes a good decision with his, with his right palm and pushes it wide, uh, taking no chances with any rebounds. Yeah, and Kenny Walker is obviously renowned for the, the long, long range strike. Um, he actually hits the ball with a technique like a knuckleball, so the ball actually doesn't move that much. It moves in the air, it doesn't spin that much. Um, and again, that makes it very difficult for keepers. And Von Williams keeps his eye on it. And I mean, one question for you, what, what decides whether or not a keeper goes with the left or the right? It's really the, the placement of the ball. I mean, like you can see here, the, the ball's moving up and down. So at the last minute, last second, he has to make the decision to, to go with his top hand or bottom hand. Obviously, he makes the right decision with his bottom hand, strong hand, and pushes over the bar to the other corner. I hope you've all enjoyed episode seven of The Blake Down, something slightly different this week. Uh, thanks again, Cody, for coming on the show. Jacko, pleasure working with you, man. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next week.